If you are like most traders, you have probably asked yourself whether tweaking your trading strategy could lead to better results. What if you'd use a different trailing stop loss? What if you entered your trades a little earlier or waited just a bit longer? And could setting a more distant take profit target really improve your outcomes? These are common questions every trader has likely pondered at some point, but finding the right answers can be challenging. That's why in Edgewonk we've built the alternative strategy feature. It's designed to help you explore these what-if scenarios and discover the optimal approach for your trading strategy. With the alternative strategy tool, you can test different strategy variations in no time and get clear insights on whether your performance improves or declines. In Edgewonk we go to the strategy lab and then here the first point is our alternative strategies. If you haven't used this before, you will just see an empty table. So let's create a new alternative strategy. For that, we click on the add more button. And this brings up here this model on the right side. As we can see, it's a new strategy. Here in the first part, you name your alternative strategy. It's a good idea to just give it a name based on what you're trying to test. So let's say for this example, we want to see how a later exit with a three to one reward to risk ratio could be formed. In the next step, you choose the setup. On which setup do you want to test and explore your alternative strategy? You just open your setup list and those are all the setups that you have used in Edgewonk. After you've made a selection, on the right side you will see all of the trades in your actual trading journal that you have taken that are tagged with the retest setup that you have selected here. At the bottom you will see that this graph will start to populate. You can see it's titled profit and this refers to the first column. In the first column are the real profits that you have recorded in your Edgewonk trading journal with your setup strategy. Here you have a note editor on the right. It's a good idea to write down the strategy changes that you are testing here so that when you're coming back later, you will quickly remember what you have tested here. For this alternative strategy, we could write instead of two to one reward to risk ratio, I'm testing a three to one reward to risk ratio. I'm also using a trailing stop loss approach. You can write here whatever comes to mind about the new strategy that you are trading and testing here. So how do you go about recording your alternative outcomes? The next step is very simple. You just go through your trades one to 10 in this case, because there are only 10 trades in a journal with this setup. And you have to evaluate how the specific trade would have performed with the alternative strategy. So by clicking on a specific row, this will bring up the trade that is behind this row here. You can see it's the same setup that we have chosen in our alternative strategy. And then here you find a new tab, alternative strategies. For this setup, we already have a alternative strategy called trailing stop loss. And here you'll find the one that we have just created. And you see you have two input fields, profit or a multiple. And here you just record the potential profit that the trade could have generated with the different approach that you want to test. You can record the outcome and the performance in profit. So this is based on your account currency or the R multiple. That's totally up to you. You don't have to enter both. One is fine. To evaluate how a trade would have performed with a different strategy change, it really comes in handy if you have screenshots attached to your trade, because then you can just go to your screenshot tab, pull up the screenshot and see how the trade could have performed with the different change that you want to make. So if you think that at one point you are start using the alternative strategies, it's really helpful if you collect screenshots early on in your journaling. That way you can just simply come back to the alternative strategy feature and go through your screenshots and see very quickly how this trade would have performed. And then assuming based on the changes that we are making and that we want to test, we are now having a profit of 1,350. We can record this here, we click save, and then you will see that alternative profit will now start to operate. You can see it here as well. We have saved that trade. And now as you go through the list, open trade number two, you look at the screenshot. How could this trade have performed with the different approach? You record your outcome here. Let's assume we have here a smaller profit of only 54. We save it and you can see that this graph is now slowly updating. Once you have gone through the trades, you can then save it. And then you'll see here in the table, that's the alternative strategy we've just created. The return and the return out columns are especially helpful. So here we can see we have generated a return 
for our real trades of 2,398 and return on the alternative strategy trades that we have entered only two so far is 1,404. We will also get interesting statistics such as the average PL and the average PL alt. So this is the average profit and loss per trade with your real trades in the journal. And this is your average PL, so the average value of your trade based on the alternative outcome that you have recorded. And this is a very quick and easy way to test small changes to your strategies and see how changes in your rules can impact your trading performance.